Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch of the National Financial Inclusion Strategy of Sri Lanka. The launch of this strategy marks a milestone for the country, bringing together a wide range of stakeholders going beyond the financial sector. This strategy helps to create a united effort towards Sri Lanka's journey in achieving full financial inclusion. Therefore, with a vision of achieving equitable and inclusive financial empowerment, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka partnered with the International Finance Corporation or the IFC to formulate a National Financial Inclusion Strategy or the NFIS. This effort was supported by the Government of Australia as a part of the IFC DFAT Women in Work program in Sri Lanka. Today, we proudly launch the National Financial Inclusion Strategy, and as our event unfolds, we will be happy to share with you more details about this pivotal strategy. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's now commence with the official proceedings. To now deliver the welcome address, please join me in inviting the Governor of the Central Bank, Professor W. D. Lakshman. Honorable Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Mahindra Rajapaksa, Honorable State Minister of Money and Capital Markets and State Enterprise Reforms, Ms. Ajit Nivad Cabral, the Australian High Commissioner for Sri Lanka, His Excellency David Holly, IFC Regional. Vice President, Asia Pacific, Mr. Alfonso Gracia Mora, IFC Country Manager, Sri Lanka and Maldives, Mr. Ms. Ms. Uh, Amina Arif, members of the National Financial Inclusion Council and Management Committee, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. It gives me in immense pressure personally and on behalf of the National Financial Inclusion Council and the Central Bank of Sri Lanka to welcome all of you to this event of national importance where a national pathway is laid for a journey towards a financially inclusive Sri Lanka. During the last decade, Financial inclusion has become a policy priority of the government and the central banks around the world. This was mainly because of the realization of the strategic importance of promoting financial inclusion to achieve inclusive and sustainable economic growth. More importantly, the requirement of establishing a comprehensive strategy encompassing all financial inclusion activities scattered around the economy has become a matter of general consensus among policymakers. On the other hand, having, population, having a population of financially inclusive individuals who can make well-informed and rational financial decisions in their daily lives is crucial for a central bank to achieve its objectives. To make such informed choice, you all would agree there should be accessible and affordable financial products and services as well. The financial inclusion landscape of a country will only improve where these prerequisites are fulfilled. The National Financial Inclusion Strategy is the first strategy of its kind in Sri Lanka. It aims to improve accessibility, usage and quality of financial products and services to carry to the cater to the requirements of average individuals, allowing them to make informed choices. The development of this strategy was not a single-handed effort of the central bank. 
it is my pleasure to acknowledge all the support extended to it by stakeholders of this initiative both public and private during the extensive consultative process which took place during the development stage i sincerely hope that all stakeholders will take part in the implementation phase as well the most important aspect of any national policy i have no doubt all stakeholders will be behind these implementation efforts at the implementation stage as well at this milestone event it is my duty to gratefully acknowledge the commitment and support of the international financial corporation and the department of foreign affairs and trade of the australian government the central bank is looking forward to continuing these partnerships along this journey towards a financially inclusive sri lanka thank you very much Thank you very much, Professor Lakshman, for that very insightful start to our event, giving us all the background of this very important strategy being launched today. Ladies and gentlemen, the financial inclusion strategy is a national endeavor. The success of this strategy depends on the collective effort of all the stakeholders. As you have heard from the governor, while the strategy is led by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Feedback and input was obtained from a cross section of the public and private sector in order to develop the country's vision for financial inclusion. The International Finance Corporation has been a key partner in the strategy development process. Let's now hear a special message from IFC's Regional Vice President for Asia and the Pacific, Mr. Alfonso Mora. Honorable Prime Minister Governor of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Treasury Secretary, High Commissioner of Australia, distinguished guests, good morning. It is indeed a great honor for me to join you today to launch Sri Lanka's first national financial inclusion strategy. This marks a significant milestone. Greater access to financial services means better living standards, better business opportunities and investment. In short, it means tremendous social and economic benefits for people. A sustainable, inclusive, and efficient financial sector is a necessary condition to achieve an inclusive growth. Hence, Sri Lanka continues to move forward in the development path. It is crucial to have a strong, inclusive, and sustainable financial sector. Over the years, Sri Lanka has made some great strides towards improving financial inclusion. It is evident in the wide range of financial services providers. It is also evident in the sheer number of bank branches across the island. Sri Lanka has nearly doubled the South Asia regional average. And it is also evident by a high percentage of citizens that have access to financial account. With 88% ratio, this compares very well with many other countries. And there have also been significant improvements in innovative digital financial infrastructure. However, despite these gains, more needs to be done to achieve full financial inclusion. The survey conducted as part of developing a strategy set light on the gaps. It showed, for example, women tend to use more informal sources of borrowing. The hope is that the strategy will help bring more, uh, some more women into the formal sector. But financial inclusion is more than just access to financial services. Usage is critical. At the end of the day, this is what really matters. For that, it is crucial to expand access to quality, appropriate and affordable financial products so that people and businesses can make informed choices. The COVID-19 pandemic has also shown that digital financial inclusion is crucial. Digital finance inevitably became a safe, secure, and timely option for all of us. We are committed to continuing our support to the central bank in their ongoing efforts to improve digital finance uptake. It is heartening to know the financial inclusion work as part of the strategy is already showing good results and progress. IFC is also proud to be part of the awareness drive on financial literacy, especially from informal to formal finance which is also showing good progress. Today, Sri Lanka joins more than 30 countries in the world which have already launched a national financial inclusion strategy. 
in Sri Lanka, over the past 50 years, we have invested in the financial sector. We have also supported through advisory services, helping to mitigate risks, reach new customers, and increase access to a range of financial products and services. I really believe that our shared vision has brought us together to address a vital policy tool in Sri Lanka's development. For this, I really would like to extend my sincere appreciation to the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, our partner throughout this strategic process, to champion the, this important initiative on behalf of the country. I would also like to thank the Government of Australia, IFC's partner in the Human and Work Programme, for their unwavering support. And I would also like to acknowledge the support of our World Bank staff, uh, colleagues and specialists. We have understood the importance, we have understood the challenges. Today, we stand ready to help foster a more resilient and inclusive financial system for Sri Lanka. Let us all work towards achieving better quality inclusion for better lives. Thank you very much. And that was a very special message by Mr. Alfonso Mora. We thank him for joining us via the video and also for the IFC support towards the launch of the NFIS. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for us to formally launch the National Financial Inclusion Strategy with a symbolic presentation of the strategy to our Honorable Prime Minister. This strategy will be presented to the Prime Minister by the Governor of the Central Bank, Professor W.D. Lakshman, and I invite Professor Lakshman to now accompany our Prime Minister, Honorable Mahinda Rajapaksa, and join us here. To also join us in marking this milestone, we would like to invite State Minister of Money and Capital Market and State Enterprise Reforms, Honorable Ajit Nivad Cabral. We'd also like to invite the Australian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, His Excellency David Holly, the Country Manager for IFC Sri Lanka and Maldives, Ms. Amina Arif. We'd also like to be joined by the Deputy Governor, Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Mr. K.M.M. Sirivardhana, and Director, Regional Development Department, Central Bank of Sri Lanka, Mr. B.L.J.S. Balasurya. We invite our dignitaries to please join us now for the official launch of the strategy by presenting the booklet to our Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Mahinda Rajapaksa. And we now have the presentation of the booklet. Let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as we mark this milestone, the launch of the National Financial Inclusion Strategy of Sri Lanka. Thank you very much to our dignitaries for participating in our launch. It's our honor to hear our Prime Minister address the gathering. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Prime Minister of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, Honorable Mahinda Rajapaksa. Sri Lanka Mahabhanwadipati. Deshabhan, you know, Acharyal, W.D. Lakshman Nektuma, Evagimal Sri Lanka, we are Sri Lanka, we are Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, we are 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 Sri Lanka, Amina, Aris Mahatmya, Atumi Totumi, Sri Lanka, we are Sri Lanka, one Mulya Antar Gatabavi of financial inclusion. Pimari Chatko Pia Marga, Diat Kirimi, Samaram Utsu Yamatima Telebima, Pilbandava, Mama Saturabatu Pratama Vatavata, Rati Mulya Antar Gatabavi, Yelan Angi Masanda, one Chatko Pia Marga. That can be him up again, Labu, Aitia, Sikasandis, Tanya, Kelema, Viswasakarani. Mia Dupatkama, Linuputa, the Mimi Wagema, Sri Lanka, Sarva, Artika Vardanak, Vardanakara, the Mangana, Margay, Lutu, Susi Shu, Harum Lakshya, Motari Viswasakarano. Mulya antar gata bawa, pelihara jati ke mau pay marga, aging, sengketa atma ke wanne, selu put kalle anta, sah, yapari ke anta, prati laba atunu hati, wadat, yapat sah mulya antar gata bawa, aging yud, Sri Lanka we, Sri Lanka wak, sandhawa nu jati ke pelaga Sri Mai, esenda wana kapawi Mai, adaem wisubata, nagar ke gramia. 
असामान्यता होम करमी आर्थिक वर्धन करमी राजे प्रयत्न मेम उपाय मार्गे पिटुहालाभव मम विश्वास करण प्रधानवशी उड़ा मध्यम पिमाण विशाखन मूल्यवशता डिजिटल मूल्यकरण पारिभोगिक आरक्षण मूल्य साक्षरता साधारिता गुडनगी में सदा मेमगी प्रतिलाभ लगन भव मम क्या वडात वेदगत्वा मेम उपायान मार्गन मगिन समाजे मूल्य पुरुद क्रमे निवेदिक में आवश्यकता अंदुरा दिन मई अनागत परंपरा वित प्रमुखता वादी मई मे एक योजना वक्वाण्य मूल्य साक्षरता वीलिमंद विषय पते जाति अध्यापन विषय मालावटे क्रीम अब कि दूधर वे अध्यापन ही आयोजन क्रीम जाति का वशी अपने कल है कि सुविशेष आयोजन से माँ विश्वास करना मैं समाज मूल्य पुर्दु क्रीमी निवेदि क्रीमी सदा उपाय कारण क्रिया मार्ग इवागे मैं राटे सांगवर्धन अभिमतार मधुम पवन वाग्ञानी मोदी सा अपगे जाति का प्रतिपत्ति दीर्घकालीन उपाय मार्ग का दैत्म सहित सकस क्रीम अतिशीम वैदगत करुणा श्रीलंका व महाबैंको विषय मौलिकत्व धार्मिक शिशु पार्श्व कारुआन गेद सहभागिम दोनों में मैं जाति के उपाय मार्ग मूल्य में वशी अंतर्गत भाव युक्त वो श्रीलंका वक् सदावन दैत्मी पोषण में विश्वास कर शिवल पार्श्व करवाण गे निवेदित कैपकिरी बात सामग मेम दैक में यथार्थ बात बात कर गए नहीं मैं शाक्य ताव अपसत वन बाव मगे विश्वास है अवसर वशे प्रथम बतावट श्रीलंका व सदावन मूल्य अंतर्गत भाव है पहली बंद जाति को पाए मार्ग सकस करी में संबंधित दैक में सुशेष सहाय विनुए जानतांत्र मूल्य संस्थाव तो वगे मन ऑस्ट्रेलिया नो राज्य सह विदेश सह विलंद खाते तो दिपार में तो तब मगे स्तुतिये पीड़ित हैं मेटर के बाती मैं मैं जाति का इलाके के सपोर्ट आगे नहीं मैं संदास चलूँ मैं श्रीलंका की सिद्धायकत के लबादी प्रयत्न दरुन हुए थे ही मातारे ये विश्वास कर Thank you very much, Honourable Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, for sharing your thoughts with us on this momentous occasion. We are deeply honoured by your participation and presence with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, as we now draw towards the end of our programme, we have to remember that the success of this launch today would not have been possible if it weren't for the many stakeholders who've contributed to this national strategy. On behalf of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka, I thank all the dignitaries for your presence here today, as well as for the contribution that you have made to ensure the success of the strategy development. We count on your continued participation to ensure that our vision is achieved. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we now draw to the conclusion of our formal proceedings here at the launch of the National Financial Inclusion Strategy of Sri Lanka. I thank you once again for being with us, and I wish you a pleasant day ahead. Have a nice day.